Yeah, I know it's been like ages since I've uploaded anything to the channel. Uh, it's been very busy with work, with other stuff. On the other hand, we've had very productive fall. Uh, we had Cliff Gilmore here uh, for the whole fall. We've had a new addition to the team, uh, Joe Thomas, who started as a PhD student here in September. And then Etienne Lemasson has been visiting here several times over the past few months. So after Etienne left, we had several discussions with Joe and Cliff together. The discussions were quite fruitful, that sometimes like uh, I was claiming something and then like Cliff or Joe just immediately said something that okay, this is just complete nonsense that I'm trying to say. And, and sometimes I was able to like uh, get some really nice feedback from their comments and that get, gave me new ideas. And I think like one of the best things about doing research in mathematics is that this collaboration so people come from different backgrounds and they may have like different intuition about the project and uh, sometimes one of them like let's say says something with based on their intuition how do they see the problem going on at the moment and then someone else comes and says oh yeah this is not exactly the thing that is going on they have a different intuition about the problem and they say something else that okay i think it's actually about this kind of property and then third person may come and sees it completely differently. And then when we have this kind of exchange of ideas, this kind of iteration of ideas, it converges into something. And maybe then we all realize that all of our intuitions were completely wrong. But uh, without having that kind of discussion together and trying to introduce our wrong intuitions, we wouldn't have able to produce anything in the end. So what we have here is a kind of like a preprint, which does seem to work as long as we have a certain assumption holding. And this assumption seems plausible, because in the case of graphs, something like this is true. But then in this setting that we are considering, we aren't quite sure if that can be proven. On the other hand, we have these three different approaches that we tried to look at. So I put them on the board here, <coughs> you can see over here. So what we have here, this one over here, is the approach one, which is about the cosine propagator. So this is the currently the thing that we've written on the file. So here you have a, a propagator that we've been using and we are assuming something from this propagator, which we think maybe is not true. And the next approach that we've had here is the approach two, where we change the propagator to something different. It's called the sine propagator. And in this setting, we end up to having something which actually is true. So the kind of problems that we've had in the cosine kernel does work out. But on the other hand, there are some problems when we apply this actual approach to get something what we actually want. And then you have to like a third approach over here, which is this uh, something called hardly little propagator, which is very different from these other two. The, the, pro the thing about it that is a very nice thing, and this is something what I tried to do in the very beginning in the project, if you remember in the first episodes, I tried to do computations with this, and it does get quite messy. The problem is that this doesn't form something called a semi-group in terms of time, and with that problem, we don't get really the right estimates that we want. But on the other hand, everything else, which is kind of problematic with these other ones, does work out. So that's why I'm currently quite stuck with this current project. I mean, we have a very valid approach, which is based on the graph paper. It does give us the right kind of strategy, but on the other hand, we have problems with these three possible approaches, that each of them has a problem which we don't know how to fix in each of the cases. So at the moment we are trying to like essentially 
change the approach to these different things and try to see if we can get something out of these things so that the thing that we've written on this paper would actually work. So at the end, this assumption that we've had here doesn't work, but we hope to change it to something different, so changing the propagator to some other one which does work, and then modifying this proof that we've written over here. I feel better about this project now that it's like we've had all these different sides and we have all the people working on it and like everybody's bringing something from their own expertise. Unfortunately, Cliff is now leaving Manchester. He got a fellowship in University of Cork in Ireland and uh, I'm really happy for him and uh, it was really nice to have Cliff around in Manchester and I really hope uh, everything goes well for him in the future. And uh, thanks a lot, Cliff, for coming and being in here. It was great to have you around. So you can now sign off if you want. Mm -hmm.